Hey, Bopey. It's Andy, your favorite. We don't have to talk about it. Everyone knows. Um, anyways, this is a bunch of videos put together last minute, very last minute, to show our love and appreciation for you and all the hard work that you've done over the years to make our family great again. Hope you enjoy. Your daughter's a liar. We all know that Laura's your favorite. Congratulations on your retirement. When I look back on all of the years where, you know, you were, um, when we were little and you sacrificed a career, you know, your career, um, money, um, pleasures, um, you, your friends were all having jobs and and you sacrificed so much to be able to stay home with us while we were little. And that is an immeasurable gift to us and to our family. And I know that that was a big sacrifice for you um, and the fruits of it. There were fruits, there were many fruits from it. And I am very, very grateful. I know that that is partly um, I know that it has added to to our own personalities and, and um, approach to life and appreciation for things and all of that was part of your sacrifice um, in doing that when we were little and um, and being home with us. And, um, and then you went and uh, it was time to go into the workforce and you just, you know, gave 100% and did such a good job in everything that you were doing. You went and got a degree. You worked in roles that um, I admired and I always wanted to do those kinds of roles, you know, being in secretarial roles and assistant roles and business office work and all of that. And and um, and I I think that's cool. I, I, I love that kind of stuff. I think I just wouldn't you know, be like, I don't know if we share so much of that in common and, and I think it's kind of cool that I was able to follow in your footsteps in that kind, those kinds of roles and and be like you in that way, but um, but it's just neat to look at at your career path and how hard you worked for um, the degree, working multiple jobs at once, and um, and you know some of the ups and downs of of the business world with the corporate world being the way it was and and um, just all the different jobs and the hardships <laughs> with some of them and and the joys and lessons and just everything that came with, with it. But, um, and now it's time to retire and, um, well, and back up a little bit. I, I learned a lot from you in your work style and your approach uh, to the people around you, to your your approach to organization, the skills that you have, I've learned a lot from you. And um, and anyway, uh, this is very impromptu, and I am not good at impromptu. So, um, but I do have so much to say because you're amazing. You are an amazing, amazing mother person your worker what a gift we have in you so it is what a gift we have uh, that we can call you and 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 get advice and wisdom and friendship and love and help and guidance just yeah you are an amazing mother and I am grateful so congratulations on your retirement and I hope that you have a great retirement where you can spend more time with the Lord with your family um, do the projects that you're wanting to work on and um, and not go to work <laughs> so Congratulations.
I love you and I'm so, so proud of you and grateful for you. Happy retirement, Bopi. Uh, honestly, cannot believe that you're retired already of how young you look. Because dang, you look good. That last <laughs> clip in. Anyway, um, sorry, I stuttered. Hold on. Okay, right, let me get my thoughts back. Uh, so, Bobby, my favorite things about you are re really just spending time, especially at Cynical and Sunday nights when we're there. Really fun, especially the desserts, swimming in the lake, and probably this one's for you. Every time, actually, hold on, let me think of one for Papa real quick. Sorry, Bobby. Um, your beard's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah. There's a lot for you too, Bapo, but this isn't about you. This is about Bapo. I mean, Bobies. Sorry, gosh. I'm still sick. Anyway, thanks, Bopi. Especially for like coming to. Oh, there you go. Bapo. Bobby and Bapo, thanks for coming to my house at like 2 30 in the morning. Uh, Sunday morning, I think. Sunday morning at like 2 a.m. I was, I was doing bad. 105 point something fever. And I didn't feel good. You guys came up here. It made me feel good that you guys actually would wake up at 2.30. For me. Pretty cool. Anyway. Uh, so have your time, Bobby. Another thing I love about you. Is just how much you want to spend time with the grandchildren. You really want to make your childhoods happy. And exciting. And that really is cool. Anyway. Uh, have your retirement. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bobby, can't let us a few words to say to you about your retirement. <laughs> go. Caleb, go. Oh, my gosh. He's too scared again. <laughs> Hold on. Josh is calling. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Congratulations on retiring, Bobby. Bobby. We, we love, love you. you. Um, my favorite memory is... Going to your house on Sundays and swimming in your river. And my favorite memory is playing cards and catchphrase at your house. What up, Mom? I'm driving home from work. Shitty day. Super shitty day. Susan, you know, I've talked about Susan before. Awful. Awful, awful. Crazy. Nutsos. All shit that you don't have to put up with anymore. I do. You don't. Um, I mainly want to get on here and tell you how much I love you. How much I respect you. How much I know that you worked your ass off for years and years and years. Um, my prayer daily is that I can be a glimpse of the type of mother you are. Um, the role model that you are to our kids, to us moms, to our husbands, to know how to treat um, a hardworking lady. All the way from whenever I played volleyball and um, you worked your ass off to make that happen. Um, you stayed home whenever you needed to, whenever you could to raise us when we were itty bitty. Um, when I would call you at work and ask for beers when I was nine, you rejected me. You have done so much working three jobs, going to school, kids in school, kids in sports, eating whoppers at the computer, trying to keep yourself awake at three o'clock at night so you can get your paper done for your schoolwork. Um, you've dealt with Bullshit bosses that were really obsessed with safety. Try to get you out of there and just be dickheads. So, your working life has not been glamorous all the time, but it has always put your family first and God first. And it has led you to a place that you can freeze dry whatever the hell you want for the rest of your days. I am excited to try all your freeze dried food. I am extremely um, blessed we all are extremely blessed to have you in our life to represent what it's like 
all of the above. You are a kick-ass mom, um, incredibly hard worker. I'm proud of you. I'm proud to say that you're my mom. Usually I say I'm, I'm the longer twin of you. But um, keep doing you for the next 50 years. You're going to be old. You're going to be real old because I can't handle you dying. So don't die. Stay strong. I tried to do this this morning, but work sucked. But you don't have to do that anymore. All right. Love you, Mama. Congrats. Happy last day of work. Enjoy it. You don't have to work anymore. Just kidding, you're just not going to get paid for working, but you're still going to work a lot. Congratulations to Volpe. It's been a long time coming. And you had not very serious thoughts about the retirement. But finally the Spirit spoke to you, and you listened. And you knew it was time. And it was right. I am looking forward to this next phase of our life and especially yours um, as time goes on I must admit that my love for you grows deeper and deeper all the time the older we get the wiser we get the deeper I fall in love with you and it is truly a blessing and an honor I do amaze myself sometimes that back when I was a freshman in high school that I had such enormous amounts of taste in women because in essence I picked you and you made my life wonderful. And that's true love and it is everlasting and it began then. I thank you for your patience when I have been stupid and when I have been wrong. And I thank you for helping me be a father and a husband. And I thank you for the encouragement to embrace my God. His hands are all over this retirement of yours. And I am blessed to be a part of it. Again, I say I look forward to this next phase to see what God has in store for us and that I can fall deeper and deeper in love with you. Congratulations, my love. So Andy had this fantastic idea about saying a lot of really nice things about mom on the day of her retirement. But unfortunately, some of us don't have enough time because we have to go to work tomorrow! But have fun in your retirement, Mom. I mean, just, you know, you earned it, I guess. It'll be a great time. You won't be doing anything except watching our children and taking them all over the place and dealing with Dad and all that other good stuff. But I'll be going, uh, setting my alarm for about a half hour before I go to bed tonight so that I can wake up, uh, fix everybody else's work so because they didn't do it right the first time, and uh, work about 29 and a half hours so that I can make less than a minimum wage and eventually some illegal immigrant can steal my job. But you know, you retire, you have a great time. It'll be great. Uh, I'm hungry, I need some go juice. Here we go.